Hey guys, Drewski here. Today, we're back in some Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And uh, at the moment, I'm trying to steal a helicopter because I'm in the Operation Motherland DLC. And uh, I've set up my, some rules for myself. I'm on extreme difficulty playing with no HUD on except for weapon info because you kind of need that to play the game. I know I'm cheating. But uh thought we might come and play some Breakpoint. Because uh, this game does have its own cool features. It's got some differences to Wildlands. And as I say Wildlands, a soundtrack from Wildlands plays. How fitting. Check out that reflective snow, though. Very, very immersive. We've got a guy in the guys, tower. Close. We are playing with an AI squad. They're usually Get the sniper locked. all right at their job. You know what? Take him out. Now you're just showing off. Hey, hey, hey. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd go back and play some wild era. So sorry, some breakpoint because my Wildlands video last week got the most views out of like any video in half a year. It's I guess since the Stalker Gamma video blew up, this Wildlands one was the uh, was the big one. So I thought we might as well play Breakpoint. Kind of compare and contrast this game. Talk about the future of Ghost Recon while we play. And pray that we don't get spotted here. I'm going to lay down. Night oh, vision that's night vision. I'm going to lay down and pop up a drone. And see what we've got down here at this base. Helicopter is just down there. It's still warm from its last ride. Got to find what patrols are happening. Got two at those little bunkers. A lot of guys in the center of the base. Thing is, I want to hopefully st like steal it stealthily. Don't know if that's possible at all. But uh, we do have augmented camo right now. The music is really loud. We've got some guards coming up this way, so I'm going to back up a bit see if I can move around this left side. If I can get those two guards near these shacks, we should be okay, but going on the left is tough too. We might have to work our way down the middle. The sun is coming up too, so the faster I work here equals the faster we'll get. Oh my gosh, fix it sitting there. Do I, do I get him? Do I get him? <laughs> you know what, fix it. Roger, moving to target. Get him. Get him, fix it. Come on, do it. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger, fix it. Pull the trigger. Kill him. Got him. There he goes. They're down. Rock and roll. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> Who would reply to a man getting killed with rock and roll? Come on. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Let me sneak around to the left. They're guarding this tent so much, there's got to be something good in here. Oh, yeah, hello. <laughs> there were definitely some cool... Oh, oh, I knocked the lamp down. We're made. There were definitely some really cool animations in this game. What's That's in here? Stuff. Why are there so many people? It's a medical room? Really? Okay, I gotta turn the music down. This droning music is uh, a bit much. Turn just, just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Okay, nothing in here. I was just curious, you know. Alright, sun's coming up. Oh, that's interesting. Are those balloons with lights in the balloon? Oh, that's actually really cool. I never noticed they had those. Shh. Oh. There it is, boss. Sorry, I was distracted by the balloon. I've got to make my way around this tent and stab the guy in the back before he finds out, though. <laughs> that was a well-timed camouflage moment. I do say so myself. That was very lucky. 
<laughs> okay, okay, this game can be pretty cool sometimes. Perhaps I treated you too harshly, you know? This is Operation Motherland, though, after the game has had a lot of fixes. Ghost Recon's development was interesting, it, or Breakpoint's development, because it had, um... Can I grab that? I think I'm full of food. I don't think I need that. Had a lot of problems on launch with its direction. You know, it was Ghost Recon Breakpoint. It, um, wanted you to feel like you were fighting a formidable foe. And then the AI balance just kind of made everything a little silly. And it's still stuck with that, um, you know, I wonder. Can I cut this? Can I do anything to this? Can I shoot the balloon down? Can I become the F-22? I can't become the F-22. I'm so sad. I just wanted to roleplay my favorite 5th gen fighter jet, Ghost Recon. Come on. Alright, some guys down here for sure. I just need the helicopter. That jeep does look cool. And there is a... I think that's a mortar system. So I need to watch out for that. But, um... You know, Breakpoint moved from Bolivia, a non-fiction country, but a fiction, fictional story in the country that the country was fully sure. taken over. Holy shit. Nice shot, boss. Oh my gosh. Damn. What the... Uh, uh. Taken over by drugs. And Bolivia threatened to sue negative Ubisoft. Contact, negative contact, negative contact. What the shit? Bolivia got really mad at Ubisoft, and I think Ubisoft got scared. And so they moved on to fictional universe. Okay, we're made. Oh, there's a guy right behind me. <laughs> Alright, let's go for that heli. Go for the heli. Go, 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 go. Have to call in reinforcements. Just get in. Get, get in. Get in the helicopter. Get in the helicopter. <laughs> oh shoot, the, the sniper. Okay, we're <laughs> okay, we made it. Holy crap. We actually. Oh, oh shoot, nope, out. Gosh, there's a whole firefight behind me. I'm just gonna land on this glacier. Oh, this is like a glacier. Okay. Well, uh, but yeah, after Ghost Recon Wildlands had the whole Bolivia fiasco, Ghost Recon seemed scared to go back to a nonfiction country. And I wanted to talk about the future of Ghost Recon in today's video a little bit because it has been hinted, there's been rumors circling that Ghost Recon is planning to launch another game in 2025. To Again, totally Good. rumors. I mean, take it with as much validity as you as you will, but we can still act like that is happening and talk about it. I really do hope that Ghost Recon goes into a much more hardcore Hostile sort of game. And I feel like Ghost Recon could really be something special if they keep the general idea that they've had for Wildlands and Breakpoint, but put even a more, um, I guess dive deeper into Ghost Recon. I feel like these games kind of became GTA 5 in a way. They kind of feel like more arcadey. And if Ghost Recon really goes deeper into actual military tactical operations and stuff, I think it could be really fun. Diving deeper into realistic weaponry, realistic special operations, tactics, and stuff. I think Breakpoint could be really cool. We've got to do something up here. We've got to find... Okay, we've got to go get briefed at this bivouac, I see. Bowman, it's Nomad. Send traffic. The Bodarks control the Aurora data farm because, of course they do. Your objective is to take it back without damaging it. Apart from being an eyesore... It contains all data on island-wide scale tech. Data farm? The closest thing Aroa has to a federal it down, reserve. Just down below us. Predictably, Edo is eager to preserve it. When it comes time to negotiate with other countries, 
The outcasts can use that data as a bargaining chip. It's up to you to capture the building and give the outcasts the green light to the whole building. The I'll do a recon. A, a recon or a capture? Well, if we're reconning, I think I'm gonna wait until night to do this because nighttime will give us that extra little stealthy edge. I do love the ambience up here though, the snow, the wind. They definitely did a bit of a better job in the snowy environments than Wildlands did just because of all the effects going on. Yeah, 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 skip this animation. I've seen this a thousand times. Is the backpack floating at the top right though? It is not. There's like a 50% chance that there's a backpack floating up here. Uh, whenever you deploy bivouac down. See, because I think it'd be really cool to have a Ghost Recon game with a much more realistic and hardcore take on the franchise, but also still holding this vibe. You know, Ghost Recon always was really cool at that sort of feeling of you're you're taking on a big base, you're just a group of you and three of your buddies. <laughs> or three AI. But this is a cool vibe. I mean, look at this. You gotta admit, Breakpoint had something going for it. We just gotta get down there somehow and then recon four different locations in the building. <laughs> Am I safely gonna... <laughs> I'm Skyrim horsing down the mountain. It worked perfectly fine. I'm down that entire cliff. All right. Okay. Just gonna find a way over this fence. Can I jump over this right here? I can. Imagine trying to keep the snow out of a place like this. Maybe these things are all really warm. So they kind of melt it themselves. I hear a, uh, what I think is a big drone. Yeah. Oh, what? Do we have to recon? Drones. This will be tough. If you destroy the delivery VHCs before you attack the data farm, there will be less drones to protect it. Helicopter. Boat arcs around it. They'll be quick to respond here. It'd be a good idea to prevent reinforcements from acting, so you should destroy the choppers they'd use to reach the data farm. But we're just getting hints about what to attack next based on what's here. Knock out the destabilization missions first. Yeah. Then, you'll need to secure the backup saves and water cooling system before you go in the data farm for the grand finale. Yes, nice lady. Copy. Nomad out. Got an enemy chopper overhead. Be careful. Oh, it is right overhead. Those things have thermals on them. It would be very scary hiding from a, what is it, I don't know, 20, 30. Oh, and a... <laughs> And an Azrael drone, of course, couldn't have a breakpoint video starting off with, uh, with any of those. You have to have the Azrael drone. All clear out here. I only saw a few nocturnals. The dark can hide hostiles. Huh? That's it. Dark can hide hostiles. If you don't have night vision, you should get night vision. It is expensive. And if you can't afford it, definitely get a bright flashlight. But you'd be surprised the uh the effectiveness and usefulness of I night vision in your uh day-to-day -day life. I don't know. I think I think everybody should have night vision. So that objective was literally just scouting out the location. There's another one that's downhill to the left here. That I have to go to, I believe. And this is the one that uh, will actually be a stealth mission. So we're just uh, doing some fun little slide down the hill here, breakpoint style. This is. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Don't slide. <laughs> uh, almost slid into an enemy patrol there. Be extra vigilant. I wish the Russians just spoken Russian. That'd be nice. Nicely done. Instead of be extra vigilant. It's like the most Californian <gasps> Russian I've ever heard. Vigilant. 
Whoa. Shoot, those are wolves. Okay. One shot, one kill. I think that was all of them. Nope. Looks like not. Oh, you got him. Oh, that was your grenade. Holy man, those wolves are scary. They've got their augmented camo cloaks on. They were right behind the Russian patrol. They were baiting the Russian patrol, even. This might be a wolf camp, maybe. I don't know. Let me check where we are, where I need to go. That is where I need to go, it looks like. That, that village down there. I need to uh, destroy enemy vehicles. Enemies will run away with your targets, if alerted. Oh, okay. I think there's a vehicle coming up the road right here. Um, and I'm pretty, yeah, it has a gun on it. We're gonna have to lay down. Into the snow, boys. Into the snow. And a big helicopter that 100% would have thermal cameras on it. There's a lot of helicopter activity, actually. Jeep went by. Skies are clear. Chopper's smoked out. Yeah, you can't have a Ghost Recon game without helicopters flying overhead, man. You just can't. How many wolves are in these hills? If they didn't make such spooky noises, I probably wouldn't detect them. Okay. So this is a... Uh, very hostile location, I think. The wolves really want to protect this area. I wonder if I can spot them on thermals. Uh-oh, shoot. Just dive down below the road here. Maybe it's not the best idea to sit on the side of the road. So I've got to destroy enemy vehicles. I don't know if it's specific vehicles or if I can kill anything here. I've got my snow camo on though, so we're well prepared to do a stealth insertion here. This place actually does look really neat. You know, I complain all day long about how uh, I'm not a huge fan of the breakpoint map compared to Wildlands Bolivia, but they definitely had some graphical and terrain improvements for this game, and it does look very nice. It does look very nice. Still prefer Bolivia though. I can't even see these. Oh, okay, they're there. Little mountain goats or something, little rams. This place seems very quiet for a Russian base. I'm gonna get up on the closer side here. Pop the drone up, turn on the thermal mode, see if I can find the vehicles it wants me to kill. Like, I don't know if it just wants me to kill everything. Very quiet winter town here. Okay. Attack helicopter. Big truck. Uh, that looks like a SAM site, I think. That's not a vehicle. That's another big truck. And another helicopter. Do you have to scan for something? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, there it goes. It gave me a destroy marker on that. Destroy that. Destroy that. And definitely destroy that. Okay. So, my question is... Oh, okay. Is that another car? Yep. Okay. Two trucks on the center road. Two helicopters and one truck beside the closest helicopter. Okay. <laughs> the goats. <laughs> well, this should be relatively easy. We've got, um, we've got four C4, so we can probably C4 one, then grenade, um, or C4 all four, and then grenade one of them. That'll count as destruction. I heard some voices off to the left. I think I see a guard to the left. No, that's a fence post. 
Okie dokie. Big mortar system here. Go plant a C4 on this big boy. I don't know if the mortar system itself can spot me. Just in case. There's a big patrol ahead. Oh, wait. I can't use my... Invisibility here. Okay, I got a C4 on. I'm gonna run back. Can I shoot these lights out? I cannot. Okay. I have to move maybe around the right side. For some reason, my uh, augmented camo isn't working. It's like it's not going to. It's like it's not recharging. I don't know why. I, I like my augmented camo. Maybe I can't use it here? Okay, so there's two vehicles pretty close by each other here. Oh, that guy just detected me? I think he just said, what was that? These guys look pretty cool. They're all wearing snow camo and stuff. Might be able to take this guy out. He just doesn't turn around. <laughs> Stab his visor until he dies. Okay. There's a box here. What did I get? I have no clue because I don't have my HUD on. Woo! Hello, guard. Wait a second. Nope. Okay, they're not coming this way. Good. Just some random skill, guys. If I can make this guy look another way... Oh, he's already moving. Okay. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Like, get a beanie or something. Scale really, if you look at them closely, they've, they're have they underpaid. They're given the worst kits ever to protect a base like this. This is some shit. Yeah, really. You're walking. I've been out here forever and still nothing. <laughs> so what? You get paid the same either way. Yeah, but being paid to walk around without winter gear on in the middle of a blizzard would not be fun. All right, C4 on both of those Vicks. I just heard someone sniff. Oh, okay, heavy guy down there. I don't want to mess with heavy guy. Can I jump down earlier? Ooh, I can't even see down here. Okay. I was able to jump down earlier. I just picked up a C4, and that is a really high-tech looking guy. that patrol the two guys again wonder if I can get around oh, I didn't know if they were gonna turn this way oh okay it's wide open here heavy guys still patrolling there but okay another patrol of two crap oh crap this is not great Woof! Dude! <laughs> this is actually a uh, really cool mission to try to stealth. I picked the right one, I think. Uh, please keep going. Thank you. My fingers are so numb I can't feel the trigger. That actually is pretty common. Shit. 
<gasps> no! How did he see me? What are we talking about? Objective destroyed. Crap. He's going. He, they, they might not know where I am. I don't know how he saw me. Oh shoot, I right clicked. I didn't mean to right click. Alright, we need to go up there and get that last helicopter and then we're out. Just please don't shoot at me. Man, he saw me quick. The HVT's trying to get away. I don't care about the HVT. I'm, I'm getting the helicopters. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. With this funny little running animation. Alright, well, we did it. Mission completed. I wanted to stealth that whole way, but man, I cannot believe that was the guy who saw me. I was crouched thinking around the corner and he just spotted us like that, but... I guess that's extreme difficulty for you. Dang, man. That was quick. Look, even this base is reacting. Crazy. Okay, yeah, let's get... Let's get up to safety here. I don't want to be near that base anymore. Reinforcements incoming. I don't know if that's... Hopefully not to us. Hopefully they lost us. I've moved pretty far now. Enemy backup showed up. Yeah, keep moving, keep moving. Don't worry about it. Just keep going. Okay, Welp, we cleared one base and then we destroyed the... <laughs> as it explodes the vehicles on the second base here. So I think that's good to call it a video, right? What is this? We're probably 30 minutes in, I'd guess into the video. I don't know, based on how how accurately I can edit this together. Probably around 30 minutes. Is there a big coming? They figured out we're here. There is. Well, unfortunately, Great. we have a rocket launcher. Bonk. <laughs> All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you'd like to see more Wildlands or Breakpoint. I know Breakpoint's kind of not exactly my cup of tea, but it's still fun to run around put and my night goggles on. put my night goggles on. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna try to sneak around this base and uh... The, guys brought friends to the, party. <laughs> the voice, the voice lines in this game. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>